Looking forward to the Carolina Panthers hosting the Atlanta Falcons tomorrow night. I'm Kevin Casey with your pro football update. And it's going to be a busy week for Carolina coming off of a stinging, uh, drubbing at Cincinnati. Carolina now hosts first place Atlanta, first place at four and five tied with Tampa Bay. But hey, it's only two games above Carolina at, uh, at two and seven. The Saints are in between at three and six. So uh, the division is still wide open and nothing could be sooner than right now, as in tomorrow night at Bank of America Stadium where the Panthers host the Falcons. And it's going to be a, a, a slugfest, and it usually starts with what the former GM Dave Gettleman called the hog models. It's going to be up front. It's going to be the Carolina Panthers offensive line versus a very stout Atlanta Falcons uh, defensive front anchored by uh, Grady Jarrett, one of the most immovable objects in the NFL. That assignment's going to go to Bradley Bozeman, a replacement at center. I don't know if I can sit putting 10 pounds of you know what in a five pound bag, right? So it's a challenge that way. It's a division opponent. Um, they know us, we know them. Uh, so you want to do some things to counter the first time you saw them. You want to do some things you do well. You want to go after maybe some things that they haven't been, that they've had some struggles on. But when you're playing a game like this, you just you want to make sure you, you allow the players to go play. You don't want to get in the way as a coach sometimes. and. You know, sometimes it's a little better just to roll the ball out there and let them go play a little bit and, uh, you know, try not to screw it up as a coach. On a short week, it's it's difficult. We got to look at, you know, how they tried to attack us and what we did, uh, obviously, two weeks ago. Uh, try to improve on some of the things in that game in terms of uh, what we saw, what we presented to them, and then just go out and play it and execute it at a higher level. You feel like you got to fix um, well, we have to be consistent. We can't give up explosives in a run game. And, and, and the last time we played them, we gave up a couple of explosives in critical situations that really cost us. Uh, I don't think they're going to be much different, right? They're going to stick to what, what they are, and they're a run, run first team. You know, they might come out, though, more. Uh, but they ran a lot against us, and they ran a lot against the Chargers. So, I mean, in a short week, how much more can you change, right? Um, so we just got to go out there and play our brand of football. You know what I mean? And uh, play fast, physical, create turnovers, play smart run to the ball and uh, create turnovers. The defensive front versus the O-line is going to be a big uh, matchup for the Carolina Panthers and the Atlanta Falcons tomorrow night at Bank of America Stadium. Uh, injury report uh, not looking good for both squads for Atlanta. Safety Eric Harris is out. Corner A.J. Terrell is out. Felipe Franks, a uh, reserve tight end, who's also their third quarterback. He's out with calf injury for the Carolina Panthers. Out is uh, Justin Burris, and but some semi good news for the Panthers. Dante Jackson is questionable, so is Chuba Hubbard. They had formerly been out. Also uh, questionable is the Golden Greek Matt Ioannidis at uh, defensive tackle for Carolina. Ty uh, uh, Taylor Moten, the starting right tackle, one of the highest paid offensive uh, tackles at right tackle, he's questionable as well. So Carolina will need all hands on deck. It's a short week. They have their hands cut out for them. It's going to be a real slugfest at Bank of America Stadium. And the Carolina Panthers host the Atlanta Falcons. That's all for now. Kevin Casey saying so long for now.